And so here is Jesus in his glory. Not only is he Jesus Christ crucified, but he's Jesus Christ risen in glory and standing around him on this side are his blessed mother, St. John the Apostle, who were there below the cross, as well as Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, and the centurion whose son that he cured. And so here are all of these people around the cross, but each one of them too are in their risen glory. Each one has a halo, except for the centurion. They each have a halo symbolizing that they're already part of the kingdom of heaven. In fact, in the art of the icon, there's all kinds of hundreds of seashells surrounding the whole crucifix that symbolize eternal life, the life of heaven. And so we, here we have the Lord Jesus. One of the things that struck me most about this icon was the blood flowing from the hands and from the feet of Christ like a fountain. And at first it might seem a little bit gruesome, but then when you start to meditate upon the meaning of the crucifix, you realize that the blood flowing from the wounds of Christ is surrounding all of the saints in their glory. In other words, this icon has a story to tell that is through the cross of Jesus and through the perfect offering of himself on the cross for you and for me that we are saved. To me, it's a very Eucharistic crucifix because in every celebration of the Mass, we experience Christ crucified and risen from the dead. That mystery of our faith lifts up out of time and space and touches us in the here and now every time we celebrate the Holy Eucharist. And so here we have Christ crucified and risen in glory. And in fact, here he is risen in his glory, right here in this circle above, with 10 of the apostles around him here, the apostle John being here, the hand of the Father reaching down and blessing Jesus crucified. He spoke to St. Francis, Francis, rebuild my church. The same Lord Jesus speaks to you and me in this time and place, calling each one of us to do our part to rebuild the church that Christ founded on the faith of the apostles. My sisters and brothers, this season of Lent is a time for us to draw near to our crucified Savior and to experience anew the power of his love, to be washed in his precious blood, to be redeemed by his grace and his goodness and the, his great love for you and for me. We Capuchin friars are praying for you. God bless you. Have a holy Lent.